working on our holiday cards. Yeah. How'd you guess? Because you're drawing Christmas characters and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's barely any time to get these done and <laughs> sent before Christmas. I know. So. I know. And that's my MO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are down to the wire. Every year. Well, I'm going to try. And this year we're paying homage to those great Rankin Bass holiday specials that we mm-hmm. grew up with. Rudolph, Frosty, Santa Claus. Oh, good. I like that we stay a good 50 years behind current trends. <laughs> good business model. It's worked for us so far. Yeah. They say if you're too trendy... Mm-hmm. You just look like a tryhard. <laughs> this way, we just look like we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> right. Here's a guy that doesn't know what he's doing. Right. Professor Hinkle. Child stalking, snowman murderer. <laughs> Why is he on our holiday card? Oh, uh, he, he definitely murdered Frosty. Yeah. Premeditated. Right. But that's also on brand for us. Mm. We draw and paint and sculpt a lot of monsters and villains. Of course. So, yes, I'm celebrating Rankin Bass, but I'm doing it by staying on brand and painting just the Rankin Bass monsters and villains. Is it going to be just watercolor or mm. colored pencil and watercolor? You know, I was going to use colored pencil for the, the line work, for mm-hmm. the detail work. Okay. But then I remembered, talk about staying on brand, I remembered mm-hmm. we are on a mission to improve oh, and yeah. try things that we haven't tried before mm-hmm. or things that we want to get better at. And I really want to level up my watercolor skills. Okay. So I am going straight watercolor And that means using a tiny little brush to handle the line work and details. Well, so far, it's coming out pretty good. Thanks. This, of course, is the Burgermeister Meisterberger (laughs) from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. He tried to boycott Santa Claus. He did. He declared no more toys in Sombertown. And I think he is the one Rankin Bass villain Mm. who did not have a redemption arc. Oh, yeah. Right? Like a lot of these other guys, they soften up Mm -hmm. or they end up doing good. Even some reluctantly like the Miser Brothers. But I think Burgermeister just dies angry. (laughs) And that's where that phrase comes from. Yeah. He's Mr. Snowmiser. <laughs> From the year without a Santa Claus. Yes. And uh, one of the Rankin Bass monsters that, if they showed up in real life, mm-hmm. like in your house, would be absolutely terrifying. Oh, yeah, terrifying. Right? Until he started singing and dancing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, th- I think that might actually make it worse. <laughs> uh, in the special, by the way, he's, he's mostly just blue and white ice and snow. Right. But I thought that was kind of boring, and, and I wanted to make it look more like that his ice was reflecting uh, maybe an arctic sunset of pink and blue. Looks good. Heat Miser. Mm-hmm. Snow Miser's brother. Yeah. I can't look at this guy without that song playing in my head. Right? All these songs. Mm-hmm. From all these holiday specials. Yeah. So catchy. You'll be singing these songs until your bones turn to dust. <laughs> yeah. And you can thank Maury Laws for mm. those earworms. He was the musical director and composer behind most of these Rankin Bass specials. Uh-huh. That guy could write a hit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and earworms, if you remember, were the villain in Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey. Oh, no. <laughs> Initially, I was going to do this project digitally. Oh, that's right. If you remember. Mm-hmm. But then I figured that retro characters like this deserved more of a traditional treatment. Oh, mm. not, not that I'm a traditional watercolorist at all. I've okay. only been teaching myself to do this off and on for the last couple of years. So I don't know if my methods look traditional. Okay, right. But I did try to use some of the stuff that I've read about, like uh, mixing the colors on paper for, for nice blends mm-hmm. or using a wet into wet method uh, and leaving the white of the paper for highlights. I'm oh, working on that. But that's why I advocate jumping in and just trying stuff because yes. I think the more that I've done this, the better I've gotten. I think you have. As for tools, I'm using a basic set of Daniel Smith watercolors, and I think that's a a number one round Princeton brush I'm using to line the Bumble's eyes. Oh, you know what? We should really thank everyone for watching Mm -hmm. the video, for giving us a great year this year. Huge thank you to our subscribers and our Patreon supporters Mm -hmm. and just everyone who comes by to watch. Yeah, but... uh, You're not all getting cards. (laughs) No, I wish. (laughs) But no. Are you even sending me a card? You're not getting a card. (laughs) What? (laughs) And and also, let me just quick say that it took me a preposterously long time to realize that Bumble Uh was just uh, Yukon Cornelius' mispronunciation of abominable. Right. I have no idea why. Uh I just, I guess I saw it as a kid first, and Mm -hmm. then I accepted at that time that his name was Bumble, Mm -hmm. and I never questioned it after that. When did you figure it out? Honestly, like 
four years ago. <laughs> but, but also, I want to point out that I feel really sorry for the Bumble mm. when Yukon Cornelius and Hermie pull out all of his teeth. Oh, yes. That's inhuman. It's awful. It's you awful. can't do that. You can't leave an animal defenseless like that. No. That was just cruel. Here's an unpopular opinion. Yeah. Maybe Yukon and Hermie should be in this collage of monsters and villains, too. Bold. <clears throat> you went there. I said what I said. <laughs> Call me Winter. (laughs) What can one say about the Winter Warlock that hasn't already been said? I mean, he taught Santa how to make the reindeer fly. Yeah. He was one of my favorites. He was a scary dude. And then his heart melted. Right. And then he helped Santa defeat the Burgermeister. Mm -hmm. Uh, He was the best man at Santa's wedding. (laughs) And uh, you know what? Honestly, if that is the same Santa that years later treated poor Rudolph like a freak of nature. Uh Uh-huh. Maybe Santa belongs in this collage of Rankin Bass monsters, too. It can't be the same Santa. <laughs> Santa is Santa. The nice Santa sounds like Mickey Rooney. The jerk uh, Santa sounds completely different. Nah, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, I finished this thing. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, I really like this. Mm-hmm. For a bunch of monsters and villains, yeah. very Christmassy. I, I think it's the nostalgia. Yeah. It hits hard. Yeah. And all watercolor, no mm. pencil. Yeah, and I think the pencil might have looked raggedy on this cold-pressed paper. Oh. So I'm glad I stayed my course. Yeah. And I, I just tried not to muddy the colors too much. I tried to keep it bright and fun, mm-hmm. like the old Rankin Bass specials, and I think it has that feel. It does. And, of course, I had no doubt that you would finish it. Mm-hmm. You always do. Mm-hmm. We got these printed, cut, folded, and we'll be mailing them out Probably by the time this video goes up. Well, we have to. You know, we, mm-hmm. we've started receiving cards already. <laughs> yes. So I guess we got this in just under the wire. Right. This is our holiday tradition. Uh-huh. Everyone will get their cards by St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> guaranteed. Yes. I'm really happy with yeah. the way this came out. Me too. Good. And I hope the people who get the card in the mail enjoy it. They will. They always do. Yeah, well, good. And I enjoy making them, so mm-hmm. it's a win-win. And thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Hope you all have a great holiday season. Yeah, thanks again for the support. We'll see you next year. Mm-hmm.